Procanthosaurus, the high-spined lizard. An apex predator, and a good one at that. They have a great sense of smell, so if you ever find yourself trapped in the Acrocanthosaur enclosure, and I certainly hope you never do, I don't recommend playing hide and seek. They'll sniff you out before you can clean your trousers. You can't get a much more classic dinosaur than Brachiosaurus. Look at the size of this magnificent animal. The way it moves about with the grace fit for a giant. It's a real privilege to be able to cherish these beautiful creatures. Carmarosaurus, the star of the Morrison Formation. Don't let its peculiar mouth scare you. The long chisel-like teeth may look like carnivores, but they are actually much better adapted to rip coarse leaves from tree branches. Although to be fair, we haven't really put the theory to the test. A Dryosaurus. Quite elegant, don't you think? They're especially cute as babies when they have big eyes and stubby noses, just like a puppy. Found all over Western North America, Edmontosaurus is the textbook definition of a hadrosaur. Although it doesn't have a magnificent bony crest like its more famous relatives, some Edmontosaurus sport their own flashy headgear in the form of a comb made entirely from soft tissue. Iguanodon, one of the first dinosaurs to be formally named. Reconstructions of this animal have changed dramatically over the years, from a giant rhinoceros-like reptilian beast to the beautiful animal you see before you now. It really makes you wonder, what will paleontologists discover next to fundamentally change the way we view other dinosaurs? Wow, look at the horse on that one. This must be Nasutoceratops, a ceratopsian best identified by its large cow-like features. Much like a rhino or, well, a cow, its horns are sheathed in keratin. The same material that makes up scales, feathers, fingernails, and even hair. Now that, my friend, is a beautiful dinosaur. Almost like a musical instrument, Parasaurolophus used their crest for long-distance communication. There's been simulations in the past that tried to reconstruct how they could have sounded, but nothing quite compares to the real thing. With a head like that, we must be looking at Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus belongs to a group of ceratopsians called Centrosaurines, which tend to have longer nasal horns, shorter brow horns and spiny frills. The famous Triceratops, in contrast, belongs to the Chasmosaurines, which instead favour longer brow horns and long, simple frills. Triceratops, one of the most recognisable and largest dinosaurs of its kind. Having lived alongside predators like the T-Rex, those giant horns start to make a lot more sense. Now, let's all not mix the two together. There it is, the one and only King of the Tyrant Lizards. Tyrannosaurus is as big as the movies, and yet somehow even scarier. While your favorite dinosaur movie might have depicted the T-Rex with rather poor vision, brain scans have revealed that its vision rivaled that of modern birds of prey, which means that it's watching you 
just as much as you're watching it. Eerie stuff.